you were very happy when Eric Molina accepted the fight because I know there was a lot of fighters that were calling you out and you felt that you didn't want to fight guys that were, you know, outside of the top, even 200 on BoxRec. You wanted to take these guys who were real players in the heavyweight division, guys with credentials. And this is a, a big, big step up from you. Again, no disrespect to Niall Kennedy and Tom Little and, and those guys as well. But this is, this is a serious test for you and you're ready to go on Saturday. Yeah, thank you very much, Eddie Hearn. Thank you, Molina, for showing up. Uh, just first of all, I want to address the white elephant in the room, you know, Dillian White. Everybody has been talking shit about that guy. Dillian White is responsible for 20 of us guys getting a shot at matchroom shows. And uh, he's the only reason I'm sitting right here, right now. You know, so anybody who has something to do with Dillian White, talk to me if, if you want, you know. Or go to his fucking face, you know, so stop talking shit. You know, I sent him my two best party partners and they told me the first day something is wrong with him. He didn't spar like he used to. So I know he was injured and stop talking shit because I'm getting fucking angry about it. And uh, second of all, I rate Molina for being here, you know, but I don't rate him as a, as a toughest test of mine. I really don't. I don't think you can fight me on a 10 days notice, you know. He said I don't respect the heavyweight division, but he took the, the fight. And he was training for what? For fitness, to be a fitness trainer. So, you know, I think I'm going to smash him, you know, and I'm going to do it for my brother. You know, this is the fight for Dillian White. And I'm, I'm not joking. You know, we're not going out to the first round. You think you end this fight inside the first round again? I mean, look, you know, last time you talked about ending Mark Bennett early. It took you a few more rounds than expected. This guy can punch. He's very sharp early on. You, you're not fear, fearful of his power. Listen, That's Eddie, I want to be knocked out. How can you be fearful when I want to be defeated? <laughs> I crave it. Please defeat me, somebody, please. I crave it, I want it, I love it. I want to take that fucking zero off my, my fucking uh, record. I don't like it, I don't like the zero. <laughs> you take it, fuck you zero, you know? I'm sick and tired of this. Oh, you're gonna lose? Yeah, of course I'm gonna lose. I lost 10,000 times in my life. I think until Dylan found me, I lost everything almost. I was out of boxing with one foot. And I, I was 28 years old. I didn't have money for bread. No, so I'm not afraid of fucking taking my zero. Knock me out right now. It's okay, bro. No, it's okay. But I wanna say one more thing. I box for the average Joe. So please, I'm gonna give you the fight. All of the average people can watch. You know, I don't wanna just box for the boxing fanatics, for the boxing historians, you know, stuff like that. You will, you will value me. You know, it's just a matter of time. But this Saturday, I box for the average Joe. So please come on and support because I'm gonna give you my all. I will not, I will not take care of myself. You know, I will be reckless. I will be fuck. I will be reckless. You know, and I'll do it for my brother Dillian White. And whoever has something to say about him, say it to my face or his face, or shut the fuck up. Yeah, and that Swedish guy also, crying on the Instagram, oh, he doesn't want to shut your fucking mouth, boy. You know, shut the fuck up, you're fucking boy. And I'm getting pissed off, you know. Dylan White is injured. Don't let me continue, Eddie. Stop me. <laughs> My, my, my final question, Alan, is just that, you know, you talk about for the average Joe's, and I think that is one reason why people warm to you so much, is you, one, you're very accessible, um, two, you're very entertaining in the ring, and, and three as well, you are fucking crazy, um, but there is no, you have a management team behind you with Dillian, and, and trust me, a lot of thought goes into that, but from your perspective, you know, you are sitting in a position now where you know, your co-main event on, on a big televised card, a lot of people are talking about you, a lot of people are interested to watch you as well. There are massive life-changing opportunities that are going to present themselves to you if you continue to win. And there are big championship fights that are going to present themselves to you if you continue to win. But at the same time, you have no fear of losing. But are you aware of, of how close you are to securing some of those life-changing opportunities? Or... Do you think once you start thinking about that, it takes that, that, you know, that brings that fear element in, if you like? Yeah, but you said it all. I have a great management team, great coaches. My coach, Leonardo Pietri, is a great coach. Dilia White is a great manager. His team is great. You are a great promoter. So why would I worry about that? I don't know shit about this stuff. I don't know nothing about that. I know how to fight. I fought on the streets for 10 years. 
Now I, I sit at the big table at metro shows. You know, so I've done my I've done my life. You know, I've done everything I ever wanted to do. I just want to entertain people. I want to entertain. You know, I never ask how much money I'm gonna get. I never ask how how hurt I'm gonna be. I never ask nothing. I just want to entertain people. You know, that's all I want to entertain the average Joe, so he can look at my crazy ass getting beaten up if if needed. No problem. Knock me out. Everybody say, oh, he's gonna knock you out. Not him. Everybody, knock me out. Come on, I want it. I crave it. I crave it, knock me the fuck out. I want to, I want to sleep for 10 days. So what? What you gonna do? You know, I, was, I, was on the, I was on the floor my whole life. You know, I know how it is, it is to be down. I can't wait to get back there. No problem, I can live with it. I can live with nothing. No, I live with nothing for so long, so I don't need all of this. This all this is extra. Talking to you is extra. It's just extra bonus. You know, it's not real life. I know real life. I live through it. You know, and if the worthy one comes and knock the fuck out of me, I'm gonna be, will be happy. You know, I said thank you. You know, I found my, I found my, my top level. I can't go. If if Molina is that guy, let it be. I hope he's not because nobody on 10 days notice is gonna knock me out. But if he does, I'm gonna say okay. This is my, this is my end. Thank you, Dylan White. I, I, I I'm retiring from boxing. This is my end. I can't do nothing more. You know, that's who I am. I'm searching for my for my top from the first day in boxing. I just want somebody to beat me. Is that so hard? <laughs> just beat the shit out of me. I, I box guys who are 50 kilos heavier than me every day in the gym. Every day I box Olympians. I have two Olympians in my club. You don't know how good I am. You don't know. I keep telling you that. You are my biggest, uh, the biggest guy who doesn't believe in me actually. You know. So, but, but I'm gonna show you. It's okay, not believing is me, it's great, I love it, you know. I love the depressing part of boxing, you know. A lot of you don't know how it's hard to be boxing. You know? That's why I get emotional when you go on Dylan White. You don't know how hard lives he has. You don't know Dylan White like I do. So shut the fuck up, you know, because it really makes me angry. Finally, I will say, I know your attention's on Saturday, but there is a lot of talk and a lot of hype in Croatia about a fight between you and Filip Hergovic. Is that something you want badly as well? Mr. Eddie Hearn, I told you this ten times. Bring Metron to Croatia and bring him that, that, that idiot, cube-shaped idiot inside the ring. I'm going to tear him up. The boxing is about life. Boxing is not just technique or stuff like that. He's a good technical boy. Yes, he is. I'm not going to box with him. I'm going to beat him up. He's ten times uh, smaller man than I am. Ten times. Ten times. I know how to say it. I'm tougher. I'm tougher than he ever saw a man was, you know, so I just can't even explain what I'm going to do to him. And I'm gonna, I know you don't believe me. You know, nobody believes me. But just give me the shot. It's the, it's the fight people want in Croatia. Croatia wants matchroom event, you know. Give us, give us split podium. Give us Zagreb, a maximum. Give us arena, the Pula, Pula arena, you know. People will come, you know, and I will destroy the cube. I will destroy him. I will not box him. I'll fight him. I'm a fighter. I'm not a boxer. I'm a fighter first, then a boxer. Well, thank you, Alan. I'm tired just listening to that. That was incredibly entertaining.